Hey guys, what is up? Nisho691 coming at you live once again. And today, episode 1 of Vanilla Variations, we're going to run through the Neanderthal playthrough. Now, basically, your mentality in the Neanderthal playthrough is you can only use simple simple tools, simple things, such as leather armor, the only type of armor you can craft, and stone or wooden tools are the only tools you can craft. Uh, you can mine things like coal, no problem. You still get your coal, you can still craft your torches, not a problem. You can also mine ores, you can mine all the iron you want, all the gold. Well, you can't mine gold because you need a a uh, um, iron pickaxe for that. You can mine all the uh, iron you want, but since you run off of Neanderthal brain, you don't know how to smelt it or anything like that. You can still cook. You can still do that. The neat little aspect within the Neanderthal playthrough is what I like to call progressive intelligence, and what this is is you see this guy he has armor on now all we need to do is hopefully get him to drop some of that armor alright see now he's dropped some of his oh he dropped all of his armor now progressive intelligence basically means once you find an item crafted from a material that you don't know how to make such as gold ingots you can then if you ever find gold ingots, craft these same items. Notice how I don't have gold ingot or gold leggings. That means you can't craft gold leggings until you find gold leggings. And the same works for all the other tools, which kind of beefs up the importance of these villages. You go ahead into a village and you find a blacksmith. And like I said, we have iron, but we can't smelt it since we lack the knowledge to use it. But, if we look in here, we have some iron leggings and an iron sword. So, since we have iron, and iron leggings, and, iron, and an iron sword, what we're going to do is, give me those, we can come over here, smelt these, and because of the knowledge that we have of iron leggings and iron swords, we can go ahead and use these iron ingots that we're about to get here alright we'll take these iron ingots so we have how many six we'll need one more for a pair of pants and because we have iron leggings we can now craft iron leggings which is the idea behind progressive intelligence now again, since we have no other iron tools or iron armor, the only type of armor that we can craft is iron leggings, which I think is a neat idea. It's a it's a fun little variation that you can run on just a regular vanilla. This is supposed this is mainly designed to be a single player concept or um, like a LAN game concept. It's just to change the difficulty of everything kind of change your gameplay aspects and like I said it beefs up importance of villages you can still trade with the villagers if you have the proper materials and within this Neanderthal playthrough you can you cannot use enchantment tables redstone objects no redstone lamps or anything like that and that's about it so I hope you guys enjoyed this, and eventually I will turn these into mod packs that you can download and use. And instead of self-checking, it will actually do it for you. You know, you, you acquire, oh, you acquired the knowledge to craft iron leggings, or gold helmets, or gold chest plates. And hopefully that'll come soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vanilla variation. I'm going to leave a... Uh, a really thorough description down in the description box and I hope you guys enjoyed let me know what you think leave a like comment and subscribe if you're not already there and you guys have a great day now see ya